Well, this winter has brought us some much needed snow. It has also made it hard for some New Mexicans to get to and from their homes. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt shows you the government road mess in tonight's special assignment. The view is incredible. It's really pretty. But for people that live off of Tunnel Springs Road in Placitas, trying to make it home to enjoy the view can be an adventure. When we bought the house here, we knew that um, it was on a dirt road. We didn't know the complete story about the fact that it wasn't maintained by anybody. Andre Balios moved here last year. He's gotten to know his neighbors over the winter, bonding over a common struggle. The path leading to their homes is nearly impassable some days. There were a couple of days when my wife and I couldn't get to work because we couldn't get down the hill. Our news car couldn't make it all the way up. Sandoval County Commissioner Katherine Brook knows about the problem. It's frustrating for all of us. As does former Commissioner Jim Holden Rhodes. It's bureaucratic diddling. And the U.S. Forest Service. This has been a complicated issue. So why hasn't anyone fixed it? Blame winter weather or wear and tear from the public driving up to the popular Forest Service trailhead. The road has steadily deteriorated over the years. Yeah. Joe Fusco brought it to our attention in 2016. Is anyone going to fix this road? And that's again, it's just a straight up answer. He says the Forest Service used to maintain the road years ago. Now Sandoval County only maintains the small portion of the road it owns. Most of the drive is riddled with U.S. Forest Service signs. So you'd think the Forest Service would maintain the road but it doesn't. And when Balios and his wife took matters into their own hands and tried to clear out large rocks from the road, two Forest Service rangers stopped them. And they told us that uh, what we were doing is violating federal law because this is a, a Forest Service road. They say the rangers threatened to give them a citation, so Balios stopped and put the rocks back. They said that would be a federal misdemeanor. But Balios is left puzzled. You see, his property line extends past the road, meaning he and some of his neighbors own portions of the land that Tunnel Springs Road sits on. Yet the Forest Service won't allow homeowners to do their own maintenance. Donna Nemeth is with the Forest Service Public Affairs Office. There has been some confusion about legal ownership and responsibility of the road. Um, for the past few years, and we confirmed recently that in the early 1900s, it was designated as a Forest Service road. Meaning maintenance does fall on the Forest Service, she says, but no maintenance is being done. That issue should be resolved very soon. Can Sandoval County help them at all? Yeah. I think we can. I know that we can't help them today, which is very frustrating. She says Tunnel Springs is designated as a level two road, meaning the Forest Service only maintains it for use by, quote, high clearance vehicles, not normal cars. Last month, the county sent its fire chief up the road to see if emergency vehicles could make it up. He claims they can. In an emergency, we have vehicles that can get there and then if we need to clear a road because of an emergency, we will do it. Uh, no one will be at risk. Does it give you peace of mind? Not at all. It makes us very nervous that if there was a medical emergency um, up here with one of the residents, that an ambulance might not be able to make it up here. Brooke says anyone, including the county, needs written permission from the Forest Service to perform maintenance work on Tunnel Springs. With the recent government shutdown, neighbors were once again stonewalled. Maybe the residents haven't screamed and yelled enough. These folks have been asking for 20 years, not for paving. Just make it passable. We understand that it's been frustrating and we share that frustration, but we are happy to have reached a point where we can resolve this issue. Today, Nemeth says the Forest Service finally sent over a cooperative agreement to Sandoval County, which would allow the county to be reimbursed by the Forest Service for maintenance work. Homeowners like Balios will believe it when they see it. We'd like to be able to get in and out when there's bad weather. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Sandoval County told us today commissioners plan to meet with Forest Service leadership in Washington next week. They will bring up residents' concerns and see if they can find a resolution.